Good morning and welcome to Sims Homestead. Well, we're going to do some chores this morning. Get the chores out of the way. And we've got some uh, low spots over here. During all the rain we had this year, I noticed a low spot here that was holding water. And a low spot here and another low spot right here. So we're going to take the John Deere this morning after we do the chores and we're going to fill some low spots in I want to show you how the Johnny bucket works I really like it I mean it's just great for uh, someone with a large yard or a small homestead that just needs to move stuff around and it's great for that I mean it's just I, I really really like it and you know it's it's uh it's affordable you know you know so I mean it's something large you know um, you know like a larger compact tractor just really be more than what I need so this really is perfect so good morning Stewie and Stella Dixie fed first. We always feed Dixie first. Boy, the chicks are really coming on. We'll turn this light off. You don't need that. It's cool this morning. It's, uh, it's our first little bit of fall we've had. It's got down to close to 60 or maybe even 60. So it's nice and cool this morning. Can't believe how much those meat birds have come on. They drink, they eat so much food, it's crazy. They fill their water up at night and in the morning two things and it's gone. Food's gone, water's gone. Come on girl. And first we take care of the goats. Tina Hay. Good morning, girls. How's the girls this morning? Hey, Nellie. Well, looks like Nellie's bred. She uh, she should have went in heat last few days, and she hadn't made a peep. She didn't bell her in or anything. So that's good. So looks like we're gonna have a little baby goat about five months it really makes it nice now we can come out here and don't have to go over there to the corner of the house and get water and attach this had this little cheap hose I just cut it off and uh, so it makes you just put the hose down inside the bucket and fill it up and uh, don't get water going everywhere and make a big mud hole so it makes it kind of nice This finally looks like we've got into the dry season. We 
We don't have any, uh... I haven't had any rain in several days now, so... It's maybe getting close to a week now we haven't had any rain. Or we've had, you know, we had a couple of sprinkles, but nothing significant. Goats are always knocking stuff over. <laughs> I know what you want. You're spoiled. You're spoiled. Been acting up. Hey, Chester. Burp. Last but not least, Stewie and Stella. Get you some. I got some apples in the house. I think bring them a piece of apple out later. Gave him some mustard greens yesterday. I won't give him too much of that. We got a lot of carrots in the garden, so. They love carrots. Hay every day. I'll bring out some apples. A little later, we're going to the house. Alright, we're going to mow a little bit. This area that we're going to fill in, the grass is kind of getting a little high, it needs to be mowed, so I thought I'd mow a little bit before I fill these holes in. One thing I really like about the Johnny Bucket, another thing is that you don't have to take it on and off, you know, to mow. You can just leave it on. So you have to just be a little aware that you know you're extended out a little further I haven't had any problem mowing with it on so that's good
now we're going to fill these low spots in. Um, the Johnny bucket, you know, it, it, it comes shipped to you by UPS in two boxes. And it's pretty simple to install. And you st install the switches. Um, this this switch here brings the bucket up and down, and this is the dump switch. This dumps dumps the bucket. It's pretty simple, and uh, so let's get started. Well, hopefully that'll give you an idea of what you can do with a Johnny Bucket. Um, I really like it. I mean, it's just great for moving material around. Um, it's, you know, I use it to to, haul, to move feed, you know. It's just uh, great to drive away with it. I use it for all kinds of things. I installed a couple eye bolts up here. I can set... Uh, trash cans on the bucket and you know move stuff around like that um, like I said it's easy to install um, I added tractor tires you can actually get three rib tires for the front which gives you a little better steering in a in the mud or whatever saying I haven't got those I was thinking about it I haven't got them as yet but I've got the tractor tires um, you know, it's not a hat must, but it's really, you know, it really makes a big difference in the traction. And the rear weight, I mean, you can get one, you can get it through, um, John Deere, or you can get the rear weights through John Deere, or you can get them through Johnny Bucket. You know, they sell rear weights. What I did is I made my own, because I'm cheap like that. <laughs> But you, I, I I purchased a hitch, and um, if you can see it, I purchased a hitch for it, and I drilled a hole in the back 
and I welded a rod to it. And then I filled a half, two and a half gallon bucket full of cement, and I added the eye bolts in the in the mix, and I got a five eighths bolt underneath that's in the set in the concrete, and I just bolt it to the hitch, and uh, it adds I guess about sixty pounds to the back, you know, to kind of offset the to offset the uh, weight that you have in the bucket. So that's about it. Um, thanks for stopping by and we'll see you next time.